Hey there guys, it's Brewmore on the line here with Fictio, and I have the new healing gun for the soldier. Um, there's Dr. Ned's needle gun for the Royals, and Dr. Siegfried's syringe gun for the Nationals. Alright, so first of all, this weapon over here comes um, in the explosive stab, so you'll have to trade it for your MGL or hand grenade or whatever you're using. Um, second of all, it has an integrated emote. If you right click while using this weapon, your soldier will do that, which is pretty dandy and it's uh, great if you want to like uh, signal other teammates that you have a healing gun and that you can heal them uh, you know it's, it's just um, very good for that anyways um, Fikio over there as you can see has taken quite the beating and he's low on health that's right, this is one of this weapon's features. You can see your teammate's health. Um, as you can see, there's a little bar on top of his name tag. And furthermore, you can also see the health of enemies, which is really useful. Because, um, you know, if you have two enemies, for example, and uh, if you know their health, you can just target the one which has less health, and uh, you're you're most likely to get a kill if you do so. Anyways, you don't have to be holding the gun to see other players' health. You can, you know, just take another gun, and you'll be you'll still be able to see those um, bars on top of the name tags. However, if you are in a vehicle, you won't be able to see them. Alright, so basically, um, you'll see those uh, health, bar health bars um, if they are in your line of sight. You won't be able to see the health bars of stealth mandos, obviously, and sometimes uh, I notice that it's not very well calibrated, and you can actually see um, the health bars of your enemies behind walls doesn't always work it's only in uh, specific scenarios uh, but you know it's kind of helpful if you have it all right so uh, let's start testing this weapon out um, start with the range okay I'm firing a little, little needle well not actually firing just pressing it inwards okay there we go 12, 6, 6, etc. Okay. As you can see, he is fully healed. Uh, and there's this little glow around here, around him, apparently. As you could also see, um, the first uh, the first needle did 12 damage, uh, while all the others did 6 damage. Uh, and if I were to like uh, switch weapon and then go back to the needle gun, it was it would still do just 6 damage. All right, so as you can see, um, he is once again low on health, and i I'm also not full on health as well. So I'm going to heal him up. As you can see, 12, now 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Let's see. And as you can see, I'm healing myself after um, his health bar is complete. So if you're low on health uh, in the battlefield and if you have this weapon and your combat medicine is recharging or something, you can just go up to to a teammate uh, with full health and you'll be healing yourself, which is a pretty nice feature. Alright guys, so um, Fictio changed faction and he's here with his royal soldier, I believe. Um, as you can see, I can still see his health bar. Um, so let's see if this weapon does any damage or whatever. 
as you can see, nothing happens. So basically, um, this um, this device here is only good for healing your teammates. It's actually not that fast because it it heals uh, six health points every like less than a second, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's not that fast healing. Combat medicine uh, is much better. Uh, however, you know, it, it, it's still quite useful for um, seeing who needs a heal and not wasting um, your combat medicine uh, on people who don't need heals. And it's still good to identify which um, enemy targets um, are low on health points and therefore are easier to kill. Furthermore, um, I would say that this weapon would combo well with uh, a somewhat more defensive uh, setup. For example, the setup I have over here, which is uh, the AK-7430 battle rifle with the assault shotgun, is actually a quite aggressive um, setup. And I would recommend something like having, for the Nationals, a Lucky Sprayer and uh, the the short range shotgun. Because you know it's it's uh, well if you if you haven't played it with that setup, it's kind of difficult to understand. You should someday because it's a fun a fun setup to play with. But basically, is one where. Um, you don't really dare to um, put much pressure on a fence because uh, you know th those weapons aren't really that good for attacking. For example, this weapon, you know, I just steal uh, a large amount of damage there and finish him off with this. Maybe put one of one shot of this um, in the middle, and it, it's like. It's very good for offense. Um, well, I guess for defense as well. But you end up like attacking a little bit more if you have uh, a setup which deals damage faster. Um, the other one, for example, is one where you have to remain at a distance because you have a moderate range weapon, and it's not that good at close range. And then uh, your short range shotgun is. is just for when they get really too close so you'll just have to be waiting like around a corner or something and just pop up and hit them and I guess that while trying to remain behind and shooting with your uh, lucky spray or side feeder um, it would be a good opportunity to like go around and heal your teammates and get some points and that's pretty much the only setup uh, I, I, I would recommend for this weapon. Maybe maybe it would also work well with like a moderate range SMG 